it's time for some constant of variation problems. So a constant of variation is how one thing changes with respect to another thing. So let's think about what the two things are and how they are varying together. Aiden is bef befriending friendly ghosts at the park. During the first week, he befriends 13 ghosts in 13 breaks. Okay, so we have ghosts and breaks. Those are the two things. And it's 13 ghosts, 13 breaks. And there's also 15 ghosts and 15 breaks. How many ghosts does Aiden befriend in a single break? So you can see, so the question is, if there's only one break, what's this? You can see the pattern. And the way it works is you find out what number you have to multiply this by the right to get the left or the left to get the right. In this case, it's times one. So here it's just one. You could, you could see that the number of ghosts and the number of breaks are the same. So you could have probably just said one. Okay, so we have... Let's like, quickly try to identify what the two things are. So they're mice and traps. On the first attempt, he catches seven mice with seven traps. On the second attempt, he gets 10 mice with 10 traps. So again, that looks like how many mice can be caught with a single trap? So we have one trap. You see the pattern here, right? These are just equal. So this will just be one. Once we get to a harder one, you'll see the point more, I think. But right now, everything's just matching. So one to one, one mice or one mouse. Okay, we've got shorts, so jean shorts and hours. Convert his jeans into jean shorts, hours, right? So on the first attempt, he makes eight jean shorts in four hours. The next time, there are a total of 12 jean shorts in six hours. How many jean shorts can Jackson make per hour? So now we have a one here. And now we really do need to think a little bit harder about the pattern. So how do we get from four to eight? We times it by two. How do we get from six to 12? We multiply it by two. So you don't even need two of these. You could just do one, but it helps you check, right? So one times two is two. Okay, so we have pieces, weeks. So pieces, weeks. We have 10 pieces over two weeks. We have 15 pieces over the span of three. Can you see the pattern? What are we multiplying by? You guessed it, times five. So how many pieces did Kayla learn per week? So if this is one week, then we multiply by five and we get five, five pieces. Okay. So speeders, hours, speeders, hours. On Saturday, they catch three speeders over the course of one hour. And on Sunday, they catch six speeders over the course of two hours. How many speeders do they catch per hour? Well, here it's funny because you already see the answer, right? The one is already on the table. So, but you could have told it's times three anyway, right? So it's times three, but here we got lucky. So it's just three speeders per hour. Zoe's befriending friendly ghosts at the park. During the first week, she befriends 10 ghosts. So ghosts, breaks. Okay, so 10 ghosts, 10 breaks. We already see the pattern. It's the same number of ghosts as breaks. It's times one, 
12 ghosts, 12 breaks. How many ghosts does she befriend in a single break? Well, one ghost. Caden is in the danger zone. He puts out 13 fires in 13 minutes. So we've got fires. We've got minutes. So we have 13 fires in 13 minutes. And he puts out 15 fires in 15 minutes. How many fires can Caden put out every minute? So we're going to say, here's one. Here's times 13. There might be two reasons why Danger Zone is capitalized. Both references I appreciate. If you guys have seen the show Archer, maybe, maybe you know this reference. So this is one. You probably aren't Kenny Loggins fans, though, so you probably wouldn't get that other one. Here's one. And this isn't times 13. This is just times one. I wrote times 13. So times one. So how many fires can Caden put out every minute? One fire. It's just matching. This is another simple one. So one fire per minute. So we've got 12 fires. We've got minutes. 12 fires, four minutes. 15 fires, five minutes. How many fires can Evan put out every minute? Okay, so one minute. So this is times three. This is also times three. You could divide 12 by four if you want to get that, right? And so this will just be three fires per minute. So now we're giving tickets to speeders again. Tickets, speeders. They catch nine speeders. Three hours. They catch 15 speeders. Five hours. You see the pattern. Nine divided by three is three. 15 divided by five is three. How many speeders they catch every hour? So one. This should be three. Three speeders per hour. Okay, so now we're doing, ooh, fun. We're picking fruits as a summer job and getting paid per fruit. So she wants to see how much money she'll make, but she needs to figure out her rate. So there's pieces of fruit and there's hours. So she picks four pieces of fruit in four hours. And then she picks 14 pieces of fruit in 14 hours. We see her rate. It's just one fruit per hour, right? You can see that. So how many pieces of fruit does Samantha pick in one hour? One, this has to match one piece of fruit. So one piece of fruit. All right, maybe you guys can go fruit picking. It's a fun activity. It's something that should be done more or fruit eating, either one of those. So have a good afternoon.